I'm back. I had to unexpectedly take a few days off, but in the meantime, I did get all the other plugins figured out, and uh, I mostly got Auto Tune fixed. I, I still have to get the license working on it. That's that's the one that's the one aspect that I haven't quite uh, solved yet because sometimes it's a little annoying on licensing, but everything else is pretty much ready. So with all the uh, plugins from um, Native Instruments in, I'm going to uh, make make a beat from scratch today. So I'm gonna start. Where do I want to start? There's a lot of good options uh, in here. I'm gonna break out a uh, reactor here. It's got a lot of goodies. So I want to play. See, okay, I thought I had this ready. Apparently not. So maybe maybe it's just reactor. All right, let's try again. Let's just try massive. There we go. So that doesn't have the, uh, gotta find the library here. Maybe I didn't have these ready. I know I literally just installed everything. So I'm not sure why it's not finding it. Cause it ha battery has everything. Let's try uh, FMA. I'm just gonna, my, my choices are gonna be based on, uh, based on what has, so, okay, see they're literally all in here. Come on. Like, okay, why is it not, why is it not finding it from here? This is, okay, there we go. Well, it's got a few of them in here. Maybe it's slowly loading them, so. We'll get there, like they're all in here. So I guess I'll just browse it from this. All right, you know, problem solving, that's what we're all about here. If the uh, stream challenge has taught me anything, it's how to problem solve, so. FM8 is what we'll be working with. That, or I could always browse some of the uh, samples I haven't used yet. But I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing laying down some chords, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I got all the authors of these. That's interesting. Okay, now they're all loaded in here. All right, cool. Actually, search it. Okay, I, they might, they might show up in massive then at some point. Then. Yeah, yeah, here they are, okay. I knew I did it. <laughs> I was like, why is this making a fool of me? Okay. Now I can actually start start the stream. I like that. It's not a poly synth though. Can I change that in here? Sounds cool though. I like I like it in general. Um, uh, might be on one of these voicing. I see why it was on the mono, okay. I'll keep looking, I'll keep looking. This is gonna end up being in C minor. C minor C 
Scale. Busting these scales back out. It's been a bit. All right. Yes, that's what I'm going for. All right. I had that correct. Doubling that up, and I've got my metronome in the. All right, and I, so I'm gonna go back and edit this after. I don't like the that. I just like the. So I'm gonna try to keep it low velocity. If not, I'll go back and edit it after. I didn't. Um, this one was low enough, so I appreciate it here, is what I think is the case. And do they need to overlap, or how's that going to work? I'm gonna do a rare quantize here. Just because this is not one I'm trying to, I'm not trying to like swing this right here. I want this one in the grid. breathe between them. All right. All right, this is getting, this is going to be boom bappy for sure. to swing that too much. Try 
decide to pattern that one too much. Off there. A little rusty on this. Oh wait, I also just remembered I was in the cell anyway, wouldn't have mattered. like these sounds too, so we're good. these later I guess I just naturally hit them more early sometimes um so someone on my last uh, one of my beat challenges or all my streams asked me, or it was a techno one I did I was like oh hey you can quantize this and I was like oh yeah I, I just don't always like to quantize um so I did that last one on the melody or of the the progression on on that one I don't do that often that that was a case where I was it was just long notes so like that being in the grid was fine but like with drums especially I, I usually want them a little off which is funny because i used to never do that until i saw someone you know, cj doing that and i was like oh i asked him why i did that and he's like oh it, like it basically like it's robotic if you if you don't and like learning more about other genres of music like especially like, jazz like that's not in the grid obviously and um like it's not a problem if it is in the grid it's like it's a choice the style um one thing i realized is that i have like I like rapping over beats with swing better. And the swing is just like this the, on the grid, on the grid, off the grid. Like that's swing is putting a little off the grid, basically. And so it's it gives a little more like soul and feel to it sometimes. Um, especially if it's something where it's like boom bap and not very heavy drums and it's not like, I don't want to say overproduced, but like a lot of like trap music now is like very like relies on like production drums being filled in a certain way in 808s without all that like the the swing could really help give it some more feel and it the drums like pop more so that, that's why i like to do it i might pick a different snare i like the kick Either way, um, it's my drum pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and separate these out. I need to find a new snare anyway. Which I'll leave that for a second. Clone this. Now to find some new drums. This was a funk one. I'm just thinking the same kind of. I'm gonna go with this, I think. This is on. Dang, I got on higher. Nah, not correct still. too high. Okay, 
like that one. So I'll try these other two that I accidentally missed. Happy little accident. All righty, cool. Like any of those hi hats yet? Let me find some more. These are both pretty good fits in this. It's going to depend on what I choose for another instrument. They both sound good. I'll leave this open there and do some more browsing. Um, I'll see to see. I'll go back to FM8. I'm gonna find the right thing here. I'm gonna look through um, some of these other instruments. I guess in a sense, this is kind of going. This is on it. This is like, I guess functionally, this is kind of the baseline without being in the bass. 
So I might have to like do this a different in a different way. Is the contact five library ready? Because I really need it to see. All right, cool. zoned in there, we're good. I might... Again, this is the stupidest fucking thing they put in this program, is that. That's stupid as fuck. Alright. I felt 
weird there. Let's see, let's go back to here, where I was out of it, here. Now is this cur is this the right thing to do here? Hold on. I I'm not sure. I'm gonna try another option as well. So I'm gonna keep the same notes and shit in there. Should I just bang my table? Um, gonna try it with like a bass guitar or something. Oops. That's way better. Let's go back. This needs to be. This needs to be different.
Problem solved. All right. Now this needs like something up high now. Might be where I want to go back to FMA. Sorry, I've been like way too quiet this stream. I just realized I've been like too little too zoned in. Alrighty, I'm gonna need to make sure I talk through my processes more because I got a little like out of sync there. Alright, so now I gotta find let me explain what I'm doing. So I found a sound I like, started with that. I was like, oh, this is gonna be like Nestle's and Boom Bat, put in my kicks in my snare. So like found the sound, I liked it. I was like, let me find a progression. Cool. I started getting just what I like to pull out a scale, make sure I hit the right notes. And then I have some drums that fit right. And then no, this part was hard was finding what gave what was next. I ended up getting a bass line after finding the wrong instrument for the right thing. Like a bass guitar is going to feel much more natural with this. Now I need, I want something up high. Yeah, I want something new, like trippy is the right word, but sort of. So I'm gonna look for that now. speed it needs to be at on the like I'm gonna add like some sort of arpeggiation on top of that and like what exactly needs to fill it in so I'm feeling that out now crazy but I think I hold on I just have to do this and then figure it out from here I know that sounds insane so hear me out. Now, um, okay, I probably should have gridded that one. Okay, I'm gonna redo this in the grid because I think this needs to be in the grid. Four of my notes, hold on.
It was, I was on to something initially. I know this sounds insane, but trust me. Shouldn't have left on the grid because it might not, this might just not work. Hold on. Okay, let me really turn this down. I can tell what I feel like I need. Let me, I'll browse more. I think I'm getting a little too like crazy with it on some of these. What's the, it's just like that's that's just a Sandy Adams song. It's a sample of something. this I remember it <laughs> for what I want to actually try that okay perfect that's the that's the very boomer thing to do I know whatever Try something else. I need like a I'm trying to get say about it. Something uh like a sign wing thing, I guess. I can like hear it in my brain, but the words escaping me. your boy kind of struggle through this maybe something here something along these lines maybe a little more like sign wavy but
missing oh my gosh hold on that.
that's I think that's it. I right, found it. Honestly, maybe the hi hats are the issue that I'm missing. That's why I'm so thrown off. Let's find out. standard felt right there. See which way I lean on the swing of these is why I did it that way. Anything earlier, right, so let's, let's make these sound right but natural. have these like on it early based on how I was hitting them. enough of, de of a delay between like keying it in and it showing up that like that might be the difference there. Obviously I'm probably a little off but yeah it's all fairly consistent.
Well, that's like missing something. Like, it still feels off to me. in here. I just need some more drum in too. I'm just going to key that one in. Oh, that's a real app. Let me throw in some extra percussion, honestly. So what I'm going to do now, I think if I mix it, I'll like it more. It is boom bappy. It needs to be mixed. I'm very in the camera right now. Back up a little bit. I'm in focus mode. All right. So delete that, right? Going off of vibes here on the names and colors.
Okay, so snare, first thing I'm gonna do, if you watched me much, you already know what's coming. Add that delay in. It's got a widen preset. kick hit and again another one that I do often is this so this is the the kick knock trick you drag the f I don't know how to I don't know how, what like makes it functionally work thanks I haven't looked at the chat better than the home that came in but be out yeah all right now we've got now we've got the drums we need for a a boom bat drum pattern Going to where's my lux for that? Perfect. That's actually perfect the way that is, alright. So to try that. Alright, oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. Fix that one. Um, let's see. Let's take a chorus. I know it's got one, but pause it for a second while I. So, I want it to feel big. Here we go, I'm gonna try fruity chorus.
you're good. Default. I might go with the default, but I want to. I'm going back to this. I know I like this because I know it can widen it easily. Let's see. Let me try a different one. Cut it from there. Oh wow, big wolves. He was kind of whooping on beat though. The bars are coming in like perfectly on beat. I might just try a regular reverb to make this a little different. Okay, that sounds good on its own. There you go. Drag it all down and mix it. I'm going to start with this melody because that's where I originated the beat. Turn this up more so I can hear it better.
little more. I might need to replace that sound at some point, but we'll see. I feel like that's wrong, but it's getting late, so I'll fix that another time. might change this out or maybe I'm just getting fatigued on it but we'll see this that's one it got a nice boom back kind of uh, like synthy like laid back type of thing so I will finish this out flush out another time but again the eight bar hook is what I consider the bulk of the beat from there it's kind of just how you want the song to go so thank you for joining me and I will be back at least some this week.